Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Nakash is back with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a rain effect inside this Anma 4D with uh, Easy Rain plugin. It's 100% uh, free, so you can easily download link under description. So let's start. Click, uh, I'm using this environment. So click on Easy Rain. So here we go. When you uh, add Easy Rain layer, so you can got nothing so what we need to do here click on simulate coin thinking particle thinking particle setting so it's automatically create two particle groups rain and splashes so click on easy rain go in setting tab so here you find rain group and splash group first click on rain group in thinking particle settings so drag here and splashes into splashes so after that when you hit play so as you can see here there is a raindrop like uh, but as you see it's really big so that's not what we want so that's our so let me wait here okay quick shade so we can see it properly so we just hide that so and we also disable so here we have us our collide uh, emitter for rain so we do some little settings so what we can do here click here click on emitter default and take it down and a bit more and change the settings of our particle shapes so as you can see here it's pretty big so what we can do we need to solve this so we do little settings here so first we need to change the size of our drop so what we can do here here particle shapes so in detail editor rain so we just change it to a, a scale from 100 to 20 so because it's pretty big so as you can see here you get uh, really small drop so that's what we want but as you know uh, if you see the shape of raindrop in real life it's not look like this so we can do here we can change a shape from the start so what we can do click on layers and here you find AH layer just click on this so you can see all these setups how they create our, this plugin so here we have our water drop so we we'll just take it outside from the group like like so so now we edit it so just here so here is our raindrop so here we go sorry we just press this one that's the rain so what we can do here we make it a little bit longer like that so that's it so now we just hide it again now if we hit play so as you can see here raindrop is change so as you can see here it's change particle shape so next thing what we do here so as you can see it's not too much so we increase the rate so first we uh, just disable these layers so click on default emitter and birth rate rain birth rate we just change it to a 500 so let's see as you can see here but that's not uh, look natural so we add a wind here just on the wind so hit play okay so make it a little bit more 1000 strength let's see just play around these values so as you can see here it's look more natural to me so if we ch if we just change the size of our emitter like that so click on emitter size 10,000 on the y-axis let's see uh, 
no, if we hit play. Oh, sorry. So now we add a collider for our rain. So in collider, so there is a problem. We need to add. We just add a one collider at the same time. So what we can do here, we just make it all editable by pressing Z and put it into a group. Let's see its effect on group or not. So now if we hit play. No, it's not affecting so what we need to do here we just right click connect and object plus delete so that's how it's work so that's the down part of this plugin okay now it's create a splash when it's hit any of these colliders so it's take really long time because it's coming heavy So hit play so as you can see here now it when it's hit on any collider body so it's create a splash yes we need to change the splash scale so because it's look too big for us uh, we just change the scale from 70 to 10 now if we hit play washrooms so as you can see here now it's create a splash so now if we render it so let's see how it look like So here is our rain and we don't see any supply sheet so we just increase the birth rate from 500 to 5000 now if we hit play so as you can see here it's a lot more rain drops and that's looking okay for me so we just create a material for our rain effect so what we can do here in material so first we create a rain material just simple uh, reflectance uh, transparency with the glass uh, sorry water so here we go with this color and same with uh, we say splashes we use same material for splashes as well now if we just turn on the physical right and if we hit render so let's see how it's look like here we go so here we have some rain effect going on our scene so you can play around with these uh, settings here and create more uh, natural look to them so I hope you like this video thanks for watching so subscribe my channel for more video if you have any request according to Sanma Ford you just comment below I try to figure that out so thanks for watching bye bye